Good morning everybody and welcome back to The Reef. Today's episode is all about our Firefish Goby, Mushu. So Firefish Gobies are a beautiful, absolutely stunning red. Uh, there are various species. Uh, this one is the Nematelatoris magnifica. It is a absolutely amazing fish for any aquarium. Uh, they do need a tank size of at least um, 20 gallons. <clears throat> Firefish gobies are native to the Indo-Pacific region, including the Great Barrier Reef, and are known for their bright colors and unique swimming behavior. In general, they are a very timid fish that often hides in rock crevices or burrows to avoid predators such as larger fish or uh, crabs. In captivity, uh, firefish gobies require a suitable environment to thrive, such as a well-maintained aquarium with plenty of live rock, hiding spots, and a proper water filtration system. As with any fish, it's very important to research their specific needs and requirements, such as their tank size, which as we said is 20 gallons, water parameters, and diet. One of the most common mistakes is not providing enough hiding spots for the fish. Firefish gobies are very shy creatures that, and need places to hide and feel safe. As you see with Mushu, he adores being able to go into this little outcropping of rock and that's his safe space. Also lower in that outcropping is where he actually goes and goes to bed. Uh, he's the first one of the tank that goes to bed, and he's the last one that wakes up in the morning and comes out. Another large mistake for any aquarist really is overfeeding, which leads rapidly to poor water quality and even in some cases health issues for the fish. In the wild, firefish gobies feed on small crusta crustaceans and plankton. In captivity, they can be fed a variety of foods such as frozen or live brine shrimp, mysis shrimp, and pellet or flake foods. I've noticed that he does thoroughly love uh, the reef plankton that I buy him, and he's not a huge fan of the pellet food that I offer. <clears throat> These are very active swimmers, so it's really important to feed small amounts several times a day rather than one large amount once a day to prevent them from overfeeding and to spread their calorie intake throughout the day. What I love with firefish gobies is that they are known to be monogamous and will often form a pair bond with their mate. They are egg layers and will deposit their eggs in a burrow or crevice for protection, <clears throat> which the male does most of the protecting um, and will even protect the fry up to a certain point until they are ready to take care of themselves. Husbandry wise, firefish gobies are generally very peaceful and be kept can be kept with other non-aggressive species in a reef aquarium. However, it's important to avoid keeping them with larger or aggressive fish that may prey on them, such as triggers, uh, lionfish, um, even our um, neon dotty back uh, did prey on, on them quite, quite heavily, actually, I might add. With proper care and a suitable environment, firefish gobies can live up to five to seven years in captivity. There is no real data on how long they live in the wild, however. They are a great addition to any reef aquarium and can provide hours of entertainment with their unique swimming behavior and bright colors. So that's all I have for you today on our gorgeous friend Mushu. I hope you all enjoyed it and learned a lot, and maybe you'll even consider adding such a gorgeous specimen of a fish to your aquarium. 
So I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment and have a great day.